This is William Shatnot. The parallels between a 1961 civil rights movie called The Intruder with what some call an Armenian genocide are remarkable. I played The Intruder stirring up a southern town which was against integration. By contrast, integration was already in place for centuries in the Ottoman Empire, offering the kind of equality where Armenians became among the wealthiest members of society. It was only after the sick man grew weaker with the hostility of European imperialists that Armenians from or educated outside the empire came in to stir up Ottoman Armenians. The intruder was just such an outsider from a racist organization in the north, flaring up the southerners, not unlike how, say, Hamparsam Boyajian incited the Armenians to revolt in 1894 Sassoon. The Armenians created terrorist groups, mainly the Hunchaks and the Dashnaks, who used Ku Klux Klan tactics. Between 1904 and 1906, two out of three victims of Armenian terrorism were fellow Armenians. Armenians seemed to be loyal to the state were threatened or killed, as in the late 19th century the police chief Haji Dikran and the priest Mampre Benlian, and in 1912 Bedros Kapamajian, who was the mayor of Van, elected in good part by the Muslims, illustrating there was no hatred against Armenians. In the movie, a white man who stood with the blacks was savagely beaten by the racists, sending the terroristic message that those not with us are against us. The plan of the Hunchaks and Dashnats was to commit violence against Muslims in order to incite the same and give the Europeans the excuse to intervene. Aside from terror, in order to get ordinary Ottoman Armenians to participate, the terrorists took up from where American missionaries left off, teaching the Armenians that they were racially superior. The intruder liberally uses the N-word to convey his message, and it can be said the Muslims were taught to be regarded as the niggers of Ottoman society. The greater the dehumanization, the easier was it to rape and kill them. As Raphael Ishkanian noted, to curse at Muslims, and especially at Turks, to talk much about the Armenian genocide, and to remind others constantly of the brutality of the Turks, are all regarded as expressions of patriotism. As World War I rolled around, most Armenians had turned traitor and used this racist hatred to systematically kill hundreds of thousands of Ottoman Muslims and Jews. And they also slaughtered most of the Muslims of Armenia between 1918 and 1920. Few are aware of these staggering cases of inhuman ethnic cleansing, much as what is referred to as an Armenian genocide is stressed without evidence, indicating it is not only Armenians subjected to anti-Turkish racism. This hatred lay at the core of fueling the worldwide Armenian terrorism spree of the 1970s and 80s. And today, Armenian parents, teachers, and churches are still working hand in hand to keep the flames of hatred alive, as it is this anti-Turkism that keeps the Armenian diaspora together, I don't get it. as can be seen throughout the countless genocide forums of the Internet, including the comments in YouTube. If only more Armenians had watched Star Trek where Captain Kirk advocated the power of love throughout the universe and not the evil of hatred. Get a life, will you people?